We began with a bombshell report that could change the way Wall Street does business. 60 Minutes revealed last night how a few stock market insiders are making billions in high-frequency trading. It is based on information that reaches them a fraction of a second ahead of everyone else. And that's just long enough to cash in while raising costs for ordinary investors. Steve Croft talked with author Michael Lewis about his new book out this morning called Flash Boys. Lewis says the stock market is rigged. If it wasn't complicated, it wouldn't be allowed to happen. The complexity disguises what is happening. If it's so complicated you can't understand it, then you can't question. And this is all being done by computers? All being done by computers. It's too fast to be done by humans. Humans have been completely removed from the marketplace. Fast is the operative word. Machines with secret programs are now trading stocks in tiny fractions of a second, way too fast to be seen or recorded on a stock ticker or computer screen faster than the market itself. High-frequency traders, big Wall Street firms, and stock exchanges have spent billions to gain an advantage of a millisecond for themselves and their customers, just to get a peek at stock market prices and orders, a flash before everyone else, along with the opportunity to act on it. The insiders are able to move faster than you. They're able to see your order and, and play it against other orders in ways you don't understand. They're able to uh, front run your order. What do you mean front run? It means they're able to identify your desire to, to buy uh, shares in Microsoft and buy them in front of you and sell them back to you at a higher price. It all happens in infinitesimally small periods of time. Their speed advantage that the faster traders have is milliseconds, sometimes fractions of milliseconds. But it's enough for them to identify what you're going to do and do it before you do it at your expense. So it drives the price up. So it drives the price up and in turn you pay a higher price. Michael Lewis is not the first person to allege the stock market is rigged or that high frequency traders are front running the market. But he was the first to find Brad Katsuyama, who was the first to figure out how it was being done. A very unlikely character, a trader at the Royal Bank of Canada, a young Canadian man named Brad Katsuyama, realized that the market that he thought he knew had changed. The market seemed to be willing to sell stock, but the minute he went to buy it, uh, someone else bought it. The stock went up. It was as if someone knew what he was doing before he did it. 